Today, we're going to be creating this super unique growing buildings effect. Now, before I hop into this, I'm uploading every single day for the rest of the month. So make sure you guys hit subscribe. Let's hop into this. All right. So inside of After Effects here, we have this stock footage of three buildings. We're going to go ahead and duplicate them. So there's four of them. And then we're going to start cutting out the buildings individually using the pen tool. I started with the left building and then made my way over to the right one. And I did the middle one later on. So once I was done doing the left and the right building, I then went ahead and cut out all of them, as you guys can see, making the sky the only thing visible. And then I went over to content aware fill and generated the fill layer. What this is going to do is it's going to replace the entire scene with the clouds and get rid of the buildings. We're going to be using this as a background layer for our footage. Once that's done, it doesn't look the greatest as you guys can see, but people aren't really going to notice it. Now I turned our two buildings back on and then I went ahead and keyed out our final building and scaled it up. Once all of our buildings were separated from the background and the sky was separate, I then went ahead and pre-composed the building on the right and added CC scale wipe to it. Doing that allows us to play with stretch, center, and direction to make our buildings grow and warp side to side. Honestly, just be creative, mess around the keyframes and add a lot of movement to it. Also while playing with your graph editor to play with the speeds and durations of everything until you get a look that you really like. Once I was done with the right building, I went ahead and experimented with the left building as well. I honestly like the way the right building turned out a little bit more, but honestly, for the sake of this tutorial, I didn't take my time on this. I recommend you guys really hone in on those effects and play with the keyframes a lot more than I did. And boom, just like that guys, we had our two buildings animated. I then went ahead and drag and drop some clouds into our scene just to add some more texture, set them to screen so they looked realistic and then resize them. I feel like this added a lot more realism to the effect and once we were done we had something like this if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more videos just like it i recommend hitting subscribe because like i said i'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month see you guys in the next video peace